What will happen to society when we all live beyond 100 years? This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the Medical Futurist. In my new book, My Health Upgraded, I address the 40 most exciting questions about the future of medicine, healthcare, and humanity. And when I was invited to a workshop focusing on creating policies and an ecosystem for developers so they can develop ideas and devices for the elderly population, I got this question from one of the attendees. She was interested in how society would change when more and more people start living a centenarian life. So there are more and more people over 100 years old. Well, in the ancient Greece and Rome, the life expectancy was around 30. In the 19th century, it was, about, it was around 40, 45, and now it's over 70 in developed countries. In the coming decades, decades, it's gonna get over 80. So we are eventually getting there. There have been studies focusing on to find out what genetic features can make someone live a really long life. These centenarian studies concluded that there is no one single genetic feature that could let, that could let you live a longer life. Although in lifestyle, you can make some really good decisions. As the saying goes, genetics loads the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger. I talked with Zoltan Istvan, uh, a presidential candidate in the US elections in 2016, and he is the a presidential candidate of the Transhumanist Party. He thinks that because of longevity research and age aging research, making aging a chronic disease instead of a normal part of human life, we will see really major problems in, in a society, the level of society. Uh, workers will have to pay more and bigger taxes to care for the elderly. And for example, in Japan, they will have to invite more and more immigrants in the coming years to make sure that the elderly population can still provide and receive the care that they need. So society will change from many aspects because of new technologies and aging research. And we need to make sure that as individuals, we can adjust to that. Because even as a not transhumanist myself, I'm, I think that improving aging research and giving a chance to people to live a longer life with a lot of healthy years, that could be the mission and goal of society. Please read more about how society could change because of new technologies in my new book, My Health Upgraded. Thank you.